This is Chris Hansen. This thing's waiting out now. The uh, where I got the police report done. Um, now it's starting to come in a little bit, and there's laughing from the southeast, and uh, they're I can hear it voice to skull. They're saying you you, you ought to start letting them see some of this shit. This is an actual record. Um, So this is a police report here um, that I had done. Um, the guy falsified the police report in several different areas. Um, he's got me down as being 5'3", I'm 5'6". He's got me down as being 135. Um, I'm actually 177 on my ID. He had my ID in my hand. He asked uh, if my name's Christopher or Chris. I told him that it was Chris. And even is Chris on my birth certificate. I said, I don't never go by Christopher. I said, there's been people that have put me down as Christopher before. I says, and I, uh, I don't like that because my name is Chris. I says, um, you got my ID. I said, that's my name and that's my name on my birth certificate. And he turned around and he put Christopher anyways. And then he uh, asked what, uh, if I had any tattoos. And I told him, yeah, Um like, like I'm some kind of criminal, but I'm the one giving the report. I got a lightning bolt on my left arm. He said that I got a lightning bolt on my right arm and lied about that. Um, the guy falsified the police report. This is the second Honolulu police report that's been falsified since I've been on the island here. One was involving an assault in which the, uh, the prosecuting attorney had to call the police up there because all the names were, were wrong on the police report. Uh, for A American Storage, and now the guy falsified my name on this police report uh, uh, that has to do with the psychotronic warfare, um, the gang stalking, and the assault that took place at A American Storage. It's all related to the psychotronics. Um, in the meantime, this is the recording here. Of the police department. I'm getting this guy's badge number here. This video is 9 minutes and 55 seconds. I'm 
four zero two. Yep. Okay. All right, great. Great shot, man. Uh, you have any questions for the Yeah, where do I pick up the police report? Well, I need to pick it up. I want a copy for myself. Okay. 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 Um, yeah, well, you know, when, 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 I, when I call 911 and I make a report, you know, uh, about this stuff, and, and then I upload the uh, recording to YouTube, and then all of a sudden YouTube icon just comes up missing. You know, and I'm hearing all this voice to skull technology. See, that's why we don't want him uh, using his own camcorder on his phone, because he can put it over to YouTube. And I'm hearing all this stuff across the air, man, you know, focus sounding, you know. I mean, you know, uh... It's obvious, man, it's terrorism and electronic harassment, though. And, and according to Michigan's anti-electronic harassment law, um, electronic harassment is considered terrorism. So, and, and microwave uh, devices that are focused on the public um, that are used to intimidate, harass, terrorize, or cause injury um, is also considered terrorism, according to the law. So, you know, so that's uh, that's where I'm at with it, man. It's obvious terrorism, man. It's genetic here, so. Okay, all right, that's great. And uh, I, I got a uh, document in it also, and uh, so, so if there's any confusion, uh, we can figure that all the way around. Oh, yeah. Hopefully it'll be an accurate police report. Well, anything's okay. All right, so I'll see you later.